Let's discuss Harvard, Stanford, and Wharton and the differences between them. This is Linda Abraham with I Admissions, and I'm sometimes asked, what's the difference between Harvard, Stanford, and Wharton? And does it really matter as long as I get into one of them? Um, well, there are differences between them. Let's talk about the commonalities. All three are outstanding MBA programs. And if you are accepted to only one of them, the likelihood is, is that it's going to be a great experience that will definitely advance your career. But what if you are in the lucky position of having to choose among the three? And by choose, I mean having been accepted to all three. Does it matter? Well, it does matter. Um, while you can do well at any one of them, maybe there's one that's going to be better for you. And what would you, what should you look at if you're in that lucky, happy position? You want to look at what you want to do post MBA. So one of the obvious differences between the two schools is Stanford is West Coast, Harvard and Wharton are East Coast. Harvard is in Boston, Wharton is in Philadelphia, Stanford is in Palo Alto, California. So each of those programs has a, a certain bias, if you will, towards the region in which they're located. This is not, uh, does not mean that you can't get placed in, in California if you go to school in Harvard or Wharton, you certainly can. It doesn't mean you can't get placed on Wall Street if you go to Stanford, you certainly can. But there is a certain bias and a certain ease of access to both country, to both sides of the country dependent on, depending on the, uh, the school's location. In terms of professional goals, there's no question that Harvard and Wharton are more closely tied to the world of Wall Street and Manhattan, which are the business engine, if the business center of the country, if not the world, than is Stanford. There's also no question that Stanford is mostly more closely tied in to the whole Silicon Valley entrepreneurial ecosystem than is Harvard and Wharton. So if that's your goal and you have the choice, certainly that would be something that you would want to consider, those, those two differences uh, in your, in your decision-making process. The other thing is just the nature of the education these three programs provide. Harvard is one of the largest MBA classes out there, over 900 people per class. Wharton is a little smaller. Stanford is much more intimate with about 400 people in a class. Harvard has a very lockstep first year and um, you know everybody learns the same thing, the same case method, the same cases. You're in the same classes with the same people for that entire first year. With Wharton and Stanford, it's it's a little bit more varied. Yes, the first semester I think in Harvard and Wharton year together, um, Stanford's program is very customizable. Har Wharton is a little bit in between the lockstep of Harvard and the custom customization of Stanford. They all have some requirements that you have to fulfill, even, even Stanford and, and again, Wharton, but you do have a, a continuum there in terms of the flexibility of the programs. And as I mentioned, Harvard is a case study school uh, with a little bit of experiential learning, but it is everything is case-based with just a little dab of, ex of experiential learning for, for seasoning. Wharton and Stanford, much more um, variety in terms of pedagogical methods. So those are things that you need to consider if you're in the very fortunate position of being accepted to all three programs. Thank you very much for watching. This is Linda Abraham with Eye on Admissions.